everybody, it's Miss Mapplebeck. I'm just doing a little video for you as a walkthrough to show you how to use our online reading on the Active Learn website. So it's our online book club reading books, the same ones that we have in school. And it's just an online version whilst we can't be giving you real books at the moment. So I'm going to share my screen and show you how we can access those resources. Okay, so once you've got to the login page, we just type in Active Learn Login on Google and then we will be able to log in. I'm just pretending to be um, a, a fake child. I'm just going to log in and you will have your own username and password that your class teachers have given to you. And our school code is the same for everybody. 6 AMH in lowercase. Sign in. Okie dokie. So then you get onto your home page. Now, at the top where it says my home, there are three different sort of um, options for what you would like your home page to look like. So we've got bug world, race world and future world. And they are how we get onto all the interactive elements of active learn so that we can spend the little coins that we earn by reading the books. So I'm just going to change mine to bug world, I think changes what my home screen is, looks like and then there are different things that you can click on and sort of explore so I believe when I click hot air balloon I think it takes off it does and then this is my favorite part down here when we click on the DJ bug are you sitting comfortably are you ready for a wonderful exciting journey why not enter the world of Coins, they're going to your treasure chest, and then there are different areas for you to go and play little interactive games uh, and interact um, online. So there is um, racing games at the pit stop, there is a sticker book where you can collect and buy stickers, and there's a tree house where you can buy furniture and buy things to decorate your tree house. So there's lots of different options on there, and there's the different home screens to explore as well. Bug world, race world and future world. So that's for you to explore and have a play around with. Now at the top where there is the red circle with a number on, that notification tells us how many um, books you've got to have a look at. So on my um, pretend child account, I have set 17 books. Now those books get on there by your teacher setting them for you. So uh, your teachers at school know uh, which colour of book band you are reading and how you are getting on with your reading and what you're working on. So we know exactly where you need to be and we set those books for you on there. So if you go into my stuff, you'll be able to see the books you have been set. So these books here that's, that are green and say new, they've not been read yet. And they actually, can you see the coin at the bottom with the three on? That says that's how many coins you can earn by reading that book. But if I go a bit further along, some of the more challenging books like this book, is a book that's for children in sort of year three or four, more some of the older children. And it's a much longer book. So you can earn 30 coins for reading that. So the bigger, the longer books, you get more coins because it will take you um, a longer period of time to read those books. So if I have a look at one of the um, pink books first, which are the books we um, read in early years, so sort of reception and year one and lower down school at the start of our reading journey. So when I've opened up the book, on the inside cover, it shows us which sounds we're focusing on. So a good thing to do would be to go through those and check that we know all these sounds because they are going to be in the story. And then sometimes there might be some tricky words down at the bottom as well. This book's not got any particular tricky words, but it does have some words here for us to practice reading and blending. So to help us to practice those before we start. You might not read all of them, but it's a good thing to read a few and just practice that the children know how to sound out and to blend the words to read. And then a really important part is this bug icon here. So if we click on the bug and we have to click on any of the bugs that we see in the book for it to 
um, register and share Here are some of the sounds you will hear in this book. If you don't go on the book. Click the speaker to it hear each one. You've done any readings. That's a really important thing to do. So sometimes they are little quizzes or questions for you to do, or sometimes they're just things to help you. So this one says, here are the sounds you will hear in this book. Click on the speaker to hear each one. Click on each sound. Yeah. Oh, I've turned my sound off, haven't I? Turn it back on. And the children can join in with those at home. Thanks. And then this button here takes you back to the story. Okay, and then you can read the title together and then work your way through reading the words and looking at the pictures together, talking about the, the words of uh, what the words mean, talking about the pictures. So if I was reading this one, I might be saying, oh, what's that there in the little boy's hand? What's this that he's wearing on his head? What's this lady carrying? So I'm looking at the pictures and really thinking about those as we're going along. Working our way through, looking out for any book icons oh can you see it oh oh dear my hands falling in a pit so we need to click on the next book use the letters to make the word that you hear oh so we need to click on the speaker and listen to the word tin tin so i need to spell the word i mm. tin using my fred fingers t i n tin press done when i'm happy well, well done. done. And then I can go back and then the bugs go to sleep. Can you see? They sort of shut their eyes. And that lets us know that we've finished. So that then, if you wanted to listen to the story again, you could get, press this button, read to me, and the story will be read aloud for you to listen to. Um, and then when you press this X down here, you could do some of the questions here as well, together with your grown-up. And when you're finished, we want to close the book or we can keep reading. And then if you have done all of the book questions, this screen will pop up, which means that you have actually finished your book. You've done all the little book questions and you've read it properly. And then you get to give it a score. So did you enjoy reading that story? Were you a bit in the middle? Not so sure. Or was it not a book that you enjoyed? So I'm going to choose a smiley face. And then I will get this many coins in my treasure chest. So for this story, it's three. Okay, and then that story now, that book, is not in my stuff anymore. If I press close, and now I can go to my library. And oh, click on the door, in we go. And in there, these are the books that I have finished reading, that I've read before. So I have two items in my library. And you can go back and read those again. Because reading stories that we've read before, rereading, going over our reading again, is a really important skill. It really helps us to um, build up our fluency and to get much better at reading words by sight because we are becoming familiar with them. So we're not always having to sound them out with our phonics. We can read them as a full word. Oh, and this one had a good example look there of a tricky word to focus on. So they are some of the what the books will look like lower down at the start of the children's reading journey on our reading scheme. But if I go back to my stuff, oops, it's that my stuff. If I go further along, I have assigned one of the Key Stage 2 stories. So if I, I have opened it before, but I've not finished it, which is why it's still in there. But if I click on that, it tells us the name of the, uh, of the book, a little bit of information, and we can press open. Okay, there's some reading on the inside cover about the author, got the title got the um, names of the author and the illustrator. Oops. Our contents page. And then we can begin to read our story. So as you can see, we have still got these bug icons coming up with activities for us to complete. So if it's at the bottom of the page, you need to have read this page first before you then have a look at that activity. What I really like about these books is that they do have interactive elements like sound to go with the page. So then I, I think that sounded like munching, somebody munching, and it matches the picture look. There's a bug quiz. Let's see another example of the interactivity. It helps to set the scene and to get the children into, um, into what they're reading. So 
there we go. So that's an example of a longer story. And again, you do all the good questions as you go through and you'd answer at the end whether uh, you give it a smiley face or in the middle or a sad face and then it will move to your library. And if you don't want to read it all in one go, some of these much longer books um, that the older boys and girls will have, you'll want to do that in, in bits, read a few pages you know, at a time. So when you close the book, you can just close it and you can come back to it later. It will stay in your My Stuff area for you to come back to. Okay, so your teachers will be able to see when you have last been on and read a book, um, obviously, it doesn't matter if you've not finished the book, but we'll be able to see when you've last been on to read. Um, and we'll be having a look at that and keeping an eye on that. And we will be doing some challenges in school to do with reading, to try and encourage us to do as much reading as we can at home, because we all know how important it is to still be reading at home whilst we are off school. OK, so I hope that little walkthrough of how to use our Active Learn online reading is useful and that I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how many books you are all reading and how much you are going online. All right, boys and girls, I will see you later.